guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry. And today I am making a very special soap. This soap is for my baby sister who's throwing a baby shower for my baby sister who's having a baby. <laughs> I know that's confusing and I meant for it to be. <laughs> but yeah, my 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 baby the one i just said my baby sister i've always called her my baby sister although she's the middle child but she's just my baby sister so it's for our youngest who is having a baby girl which is my niece woohoo fun fun and um she said she wanted a beachy theme so so colors i am using almost ice mica from rusty sensuals i am using uh, la, 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 la. Um, I have a sample this gorgeous purple right here this sample here was sent to me by Stardust Mica and it's called Violet Pearl it is beauteous and I have some Saturn yellow I want a very bright pop of color there's gonna be very little of this but I just want it in there this is from TKB trading and we also have Cosmic Carol Lynn. Cosmic Carolyn from TKB Trading. I'm still on the fence. I thought to do the base in pale pink, like a very, very pale pink or coral. And then I thought to do the base in white. I'm still on the fence. I'm leaning more towards white. And that's probably the route I'm going to go in. So now that I've said all that, oh, the fragrance I am using is a very beachy it's like a, a floral beachy fragrance it is beach daisies and I'm gonna say it's very nice it's very very nice it's beachy and it smells like a flower imagine that and I also use some uh, soap dough from B at Sore 3 soap I purchased that eh, some time ago that stuff holds up great it's been it's been since October so I made all of these flowers here out of her soap dough and then I painted them with mica. So these are going to go on the top. I'm uncertain if I'm going to use everything's falling apart now that I want to show you guys. Of course, because that's just the way it goes. Fun times. Um, so I got some flip flops and some sunglasses and some seashells. I know for a fact I'm going to use the seashells, but I'm unsure if I'm going to use the flip flops and sunglasses i kind of told my baby sister i was gonna but then i said maybe so we'll see we'll see how i feel about it all right so let's get the adjectives in hell and then we'll get started with our shopping okay okay I was mixing this I realized I didn't even have a mold to put together so I had to run off and get my mold put it together um I read the reviews on this fragrance and it's supposed to be a very good behaving fragrance I hope and pray to Lord it is because I don't want no funny business this soap has to be spectacular and um I mean if it does backfire on me we really gotta work through it but hopefully it does not because that's not something I feel like dealing with today. It's just not. Because I, you guys know, for those of you who are new, um, I'm going to tell you, I hate making embeds. Yep, sure do. But they make your soap look fabulous. So that's why I do make them. So basically, I've been for, whew, I want to say probably three, four hours mucking around with those uh, flowers and painting them. And I was just really mucking around too. So... <laughs> I'm not going to just blame it all on the soap. It wasn't all the soap. It was mostly me. But, um, making those little flip-flops and crap, too. Um, just, yeah. I don't enjoy it. So, let's just go with that. So, I just want a very little bit of color. Nothing crazy. I'm going to hand stir the fragrance in. Um, I'm going to stick blend this a little bit and then hand stir. Yeah, I think that's the best way to play this and I know my attachments to my stick blender don't match but it's okay
perfect because I didn't exactly want that to be dark purple that's a beautiful purple beauteous absolutely um, I need to get a skinny ass spatula which is right here to clean off my stick blender okay so I'll stick that there and then get my TD if I can open it so oh Jesus that was a struggle <laughs> Gabriel is the best Gabriel on earth probably because to me I can say that because he's the only Gabriel I know but <laughs> he's awesome I love that guy I do I swear I do because he came down here I was not even expecting it I was running low on my master batches and I came down to make in beds and things and he followed me and he says you know what honey I'm gonna help you out and he made 17 master batch loaves oh <sighs> thank you thank you Gabriel thank you because I really hate master batching and plus with my carpal tunnel which is doing fantastic now you know everything is pretty much back on track still got a little pain here and there but scraping out coconut oil and all that stuff is just not really good so, um, try not to do those things. I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna stick this purple in this white. Mm hmm, dum dum dum. But I didn't get any water to cleanse my stick blender in between. I'm too lazy to go get it. I've been watching all the videos of everybody at the, um, the Soapers Guild um, conference. Oh, everybody looked like they had so much fun, and I really wish that I could have went, but. I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it this year. Maybe I'll make it to the next one. I think it's in 2020. Um, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that I can make it to that one because, oh, it looked like it was just so much fun. Everybody just looked like they had a blast. And it's just so much stuff to do. And um, Tara from Living on a Dime and How to Make Soap, she actually um, did some interviews with a couple of soap artists and vendors and it was pretty interesting so be sure to go check out her video she's one of your fellow stinking awesome crew members um you might find her in the comment section her channel again is called living on a dime that's her main channel and then her other channel is called how to make soap um yeah be sure to check out those videos because they were very very informative and fun so and clyde uh, check out his Instagram. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you guys. I forget how far out this video is going to be, but I'm pretty sure you guys seen a lot of his video, uh, his pictures on Instagram. And let me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read these notes again. Make sure this doesn't have vanillin in it. And I normally don't buy fragrances with vanillin, but let me check anyway. Okay, duck. We got snow vanillins. So I just had to check because I'm not in the mood. I'm just not to have a soap turn brown on me. Nope. So pour a little bit in there and then some in here some in here some in here and some in here and that is all ah I didn't use very much got actually should have about an ounce left Yeah, I think that's good enough. It's a nice, strong fragrance. It's not overpowering, but it is on the stronger side. But it's very fresh. Very, very fresh and subtle. So, go ahead and give that a mixer up. So, I knew it was something I was concerned about with this fragrance. And it is a misbehavior. Um, as you can see, everything has picked up. The purple hates it. Like, totally hates it. But, it's okay. So I was going to do a drop swirl. Clearly we all know we're not going to be doing that. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to separate off some wax. So I want to keep that for the top. And uh, I'm just going to do a uh, in the pot swirl. I feel like that's going to be too much. But yeah, I just take a little bit off. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll put that back. So yeah, the white seems to be behaving just fine. It's a little thick, yep, but it's okay. It's still um, loose enough for me to do something with it. So you guys know I never do a traditional in the pot 
just because I'm weird about how my colors fall. So I like to spread my colors around. And then I'm going to get this purple in here first because it's the one that's the most unhappy. It smells really, really good though. I will say that much. It smells fantastic. So go ahead and slap that in there. And then I will do some yellow. Yellow's not happy either. Everything's thickening up. And I didn't muck around with this one. I did not. I only went off camera long enough just to hand mix all the fragrance. And by the time I got back to the purple, it was super stiff. So, oops, I'm over here making a mess. So, uh, I'm not fretting. It's going to work out. So, I'm going to take some of that, cover it up, and we'll move on to the next color which is this pretty blue which kind of turned to a teal which I'm happy with that's actually really pretty anytime for me I my batter tends to be more on the yellow side unless I put some TD in it I get more teals than blues unless I use a lot of mica which try to avoid doing that when I can you know what I mean so we're gonna go ahead and do this I know this looks crazy I know you can't tell me I know that but let me tell you it works for moi. So, yeah, this is, and I was on the fence. I really was on the fence between this and another one. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go for it anyway. So, I knew it was something because I've had this fragrance for about a week now. I knew it was something going on with it. I just couldn't remember what that something was. So, take some of that move it over and then I will add the rest because I don't want any for the top So now what I'm going to do is kind of go around my sides and then, yeah, it is super ricey lumped in there, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to take care of it. So I'm going to grab my resin chopstick and just kind of give it a nice stir. I like to use this because it doesn't overmix. I know it looks like it, but it's not going to. Okay. And then. I'm going to get my mold. I am going to flip this one time. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I know it looks crazy. But trust me. Trust me when I say it's going to be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Now probably rinse this towel but I can wait okay grab my mold but all right let me hold on to this before I drop it uh, I don't have too many issues with my soaps not releasing this is crazy how thick this is just that fast so I'm just gonna kind of plop it in there and I'm gonna bang the crap out of this you guys better know it because that's the only way I'm going to give it all these air bubbles and pockets and things, you know. But it does smell fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it one little smack right now. Alright, get the rest of this in here. I hope it end up looking beachy enough. I know I want to mix that because I see a big old clump of yellow. I'm not feeling that's by itself. Okay. It looks kind of unicornish. <laughs> These colors do. Oh yeah, some really hard bits in here. That's like 
going ahead and saponifying without me. And just hold on, so just hold on. And don't click off. <laughs> if you're new, you're probably like, this is some crap. Her soap is gonna turn out really ugly. I'm not even about to stick around. Stick around, trust me, you're gonna be surprised. You will be surprised. I feel like I am the self-proclaimed queen of <laughs> getting a hold of mishap soaps. <laughs> Because uh, I, trust me, I've had quite a few that I had to wrangle in, but I'm pretty good at it, oddly enough. My selves don't like to lay down and be play nice. They like to misbehave on camera. You know, like when your children are well behaved at home and then you take them out in public and they get just cut up, uh, cut up on you. That's what my selves do. <laughs> as soon as the camera goes, and they're just like, ah, they're all over the place. <laughs> all right, let me bang this down. Okay, I have um, banged the daylights out of the soap. I just don't even understand if I find some air bubbles in here. It's gonna be a miracle. So, now let me take this spatula and stir this up and it's trying to get a little bit thick, but actually it's the perfect texture. So, it is working out in my favor. Yeah, okay, I'm shaking. It's like it's actually going to settle down. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So I'm going to take this and just kind of, oh, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This is going to have like some little, I don't know. It looks like ice cream. It's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. But I don't know why I felt the need to push that down like that. I just did. It just made more sense to me. So these little bitty dots like the rice bits. I think it's going to add some pretty cool character to this soap. And I was going to take the skewer and swirl it after I banged it down, but I figured let's not. So, really don't know why. I just felt the need to do that. Because I am going to take this and put it right back on it. Real dumb. Yep, I know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I guess I just wanted it to have a like a blank canvas to work with, you know? And if you are new to my channel, hello, I am so freaking happy you found me. I really am. Oh my gosh, I love having new subscribers. And if you feel the need and like you wanna become a part of my stinking awesome crew, also known as my sack, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. It costs you nothing. So, we have a lot of fun over here. This is the way that I soap. <laughs> it is. There's no other way around it, honey. It's messy. It's crazy. It's disorganized. It's fun. But I do make beautiful soaps. I will say that. They always manage to turn out nice. And I show you everything. I don't do a lot of editing out my bad parts. You get the good, the bad, the ugly. You get it all. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this on here. I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to fight with this to get it to stand the way I want it to. So I'll just fast forward through the texturing part. It's still good to see it, but you don't have to be bored. Look at that. I'm thinking of you all. Okay, so the reason why I fast forward all that because sometimes, y'all, I just don't know how to stop messing with it. I really don't. So, <laughs> I try it, but it's not. I just, I cannot until I'm very happy with it. And this I am not very happy with, but... It doesn't matter because I'm about to slap all these glorious embeds on it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab those. I thought about glittering the shelves, but I don't know if I want it. So, um, I'm going to take my gloves off just because they're going to be hard to pick up. And I don't even know if I'm going to worry about spacing just because I feel like these little flowers might be a little bit Where's my darn, where's my measuring stick? Yes, these are definitely wider than an inch, but it's okay. Um, if they get cut, that's fine, but as long as I get them on soap, that's my main concern. So, I'm going to turn it this way, and then I really do want to clean it up just a hair bit more. Yep, and then I went in, mucked up that side. But I'm not going to mess with it. I promise I'm not. I'm not even going to touch it. Okay, so. 
this is what I'm going to do. And I got to pay attention to my spacing. Not my spacing, my colors, which ones I'm using and which ones I've already used. I don't want to put too many similars next to each other. Okay. And I started out with these. These are my first ones. And this is actually dipped in um, sea salt, colored sea salt. And I like them, but I'm like, well, you know what? I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm going to pop that one off and put that one on. And then put that one on. And then, looks like I'm not going to get to use all of these. And then, this one. All right, so now that I've gotten that, I'm going to see where to put these. I'm going to put the gold shells first. And everything is just kind of randomly placed. It's no real rhyme or reason. I hope I'm all the way in you guys' fuel cow. I just kind of went and made a bunch of embeds to see which ones would work how I felt about them after I got them on this, oops, on this soap. Okay. And I'm not concerned about what gets cut because everything's gonna have, every bar is gonna have a little bit on it. A little bit of something, something. All right. So welcome back to the cutting video of my baby baby sister soap and I could just say my baby sister soap but that's not fun so um, <laughs> my I, whenever it gets humid the humidity in my workspace is at 60% right now it's normally at 25 30 and look at this this is my arm that's crazy and it's like screaming <laughs> I don't want to loosen it because when the humidity goes down, then it'll be way too loose. So we're going to struggle through cutting this, but, um, <laughs> this turned out really, really, really pretty. I do have a bunch of blow holes, but I just really love how that looks like watercolor. Isn't that gorgeous guys? Super pretty. And it smells really, really good. If you guys remember, I know you do. It came from the fragrance. So I'll show you the top again. Really, really cute. I got some little sweats on my glycerin, but that's okay. I'll just sit it closer to my dehumidifier and it'll go away. So, the question was posed to me <laughs> on my channel. Someone said, why do you make your soap so tall? Please explain that to me. Thank you. I make my soaps very tall because it's just a personal preference. No real reason. I like taller soaps. So... Um, I get asked that a lot. Ooh, how tall are those things? <laughs> but, um, I just like tall slopes. I like the look of them. To me, they're more aesthetically pleasing. This is about just a little over. That's about four and a half inches tall. So that's how tall my soaps are. But mind you, they do shrink. So you got to keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and cut this. I don't know. No, I'm not going to cut any backs off because... She's getting the entire loaf and then I got a flower hanging off and I don't want to chop it. But then again, no, I'm not going to. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this with this arm that's super tight. And a new... Oh, jeez. This is crazy how tight this arm is. I mean, that is... 
I, it's so crazy. It's like this much space between my soap and this cutter. <laughs> I was pushing it. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is super cute. I think it's perfect. And it's, oh, it smells really, really, really good. I like this a whole lot. So, I, I know she's going to love it. I love it. And I got to talk to my baby, baby sister to find out. Um, no, I already know. I was going to say to find out. Um, oh, my train of thought just slipped anyway. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to name this soap Zara because that is my niece to come's name. Her name is Zara. So that's what I will be naming this soap. And of course it'll be um, something like thank you for attending Zara's uh, baby shower. Something along those lines I haven't decided yet. And like I said, I will do one, or did I say, I don't know what I said. It's been, it's been uh, almost a week since I unloaded this soap, well since I made this soap. This has been kind of just hanging out in the mold um, on my drying rack. So I really just unmolded it. So, I mean, it's not too bad for the way it misbehaved. I think I'm pretty lucky right now to not to have a crazy amount of blow holes, but I love the way this looks. That is super stinking. Oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute. Hope you guys like it too. Because if you do, I'll be making one in the shop. So, <laughs> um, I know I've already decided that I am going to put one in the shop because it is lovely. But I won't be using that fragrance. Again, I think I said that. I don't know what I said. So. I really do like the look of this. I got a couple of flowers left. Not much. But, um. I just feel like from now on. Oh, jeez. Man. This arm. I feel like when I, <laughs> I make a really cool custom order. I'll just stick one in the shop too. Because I know people are going to ask for it. But I adore these colors, like for real. I'm like so shocked how they turned out. Being the fact that this fragrance was like a really bad misbehavior. And I got too many soaps sit over here. I need to make some spice. So I guess I'll start putting them on this side. Hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. I am. I really am. And thank you for all of the, I know this video is like well past. But thank you for all of the remedies about my wrist. Because my wrist is absolutely fine now. I'm all about all natural remedies, and you guys suggest some great ones. Um, so I really, really appreciate your concern and well wishes. I love you guys. You guys know that. I do, and I mean it. I'm not just saying it just to be saying something. I do. So can love you guys. So, yes, I am. I am Gudia. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, crazy. I just don't even know. Like, okay, just make sure I was going to bang this up. Is that not beachy? Like, for real. Like, for real? Like, for real. Is that not beachy? <laughs> I love that. I love it. Okay. Enough squilling. <laughs> but, um, I think I really did well on this soap, especially. It's so cute. It's really cute. I love it. What is, no, they're an inch. Oh, and the thickness of my soaps are an inch. Um, I get asked that too a lot. But these seem thinner, but they're not. Yep. I mean, I really did, like, bang this thing within an inch of his life, so that's why I didn't get too many crazy blow holes. If I had enough, it would have been some serious blow holes in the soap. And I would have not been happy with that. So, um, I'm going to make, today is the 17th. Oh, tomorrow is my three-year anniversary at my job. Yay. But, um, no time goes by so fast, that's crazy. Doesn't it really doesn't feel like I've been working there that long, but um, yeah, it's the 18th. I'm gonna make this this weekend, so um, I'm trying to think, should I give a date of when this will be ready? No, I'm not gonna give a date. Um, I'm not sure, guys. If you're interested in this soap, check my shop, it just might be there. Um, I'm not gonna do a making because. I did this one. The only reason why I'm not putting a date because I have not figured out what fragrance I'm going to use because again, 
we are not using this one um, so oh that's so tall okay there we go got a nice little blowhole there but that's okay it can be cleaned up I am going to cut the back off of this one because why not? That is so stellar, man. I love that. That couldn't be any more perfect for me. I just... Yep. Everything turned out nice. All right, guys. So, if you do like this, so please be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly, like, greatly, greatly appreciated, you guys. And I love you. I told you that like a thousand times already. This soap smells fantastic. So sad that this fragrance doesn't behave very well. But I'm still going to get a beachy fragrance for the new one. So, um... Uh, oh, it's so tough to decide. Should I have you guys vote? Well, we're not going to do a, uh, a poll today because I don't know what fragrance I'm going to get. But anywho, love you. Be nice to each other. Treat each other well. And I will see you all in the next making cutting video. Bye!